Greetings to you all. I welcome you once again to my channel. My name is Doris. Yes, how are you all doing? I believe you all are doing great wherever you are. Yes, I brought something again for you guys this afternoon. And I believe you all have been enjoying the stories I have been dropping out as well. Lesson packed stories. Yes, you got to pick one or two things from those stories. Yes. So, Without wasting much of our time, let's dive into this one I came with. And this one is written by one of the little lions by name Mufako. And the title of the story is Heaven Sent. So, Mr. Black, the Mr. Black here is the Emmanuel, and the Miss Blue here is Lekor Rose. You get that? Yes. Yeah. So, wherever we call Mr. Black, have in mind that it's, that it's, we are referring to Emmanuel, and wherever we call Miss Blue, have in mind that we are referring to Lekor Rose. So, Mr. Black said, I have been running this company for years. I have got money and everything beside a, past, a partner. I think... It's high time I start living a little and enjoy myself. I mean, I'm young and lady, ladies find me attractive. I have been busy looking for a partner to run the business with but haven't found anyone that I can vibe with and trust. The day has arrived and I will be interviewing some candidates again. Then Miss Blue said, I always wondered what it might feel like to try something new. I mean, I have... I have a dancing studio, a boutique, and a school for the disadvantaged children. Everything is under control and I trust my employees now. It's, it's time for something a bit challenging. Good. So, let's now look into the interview day. Miss Blue said she tried to stop herself from trembling, pushing her legs and her hands, but her hands were also shaking. Was it because the reception was too cold or was it because I was terrified of my rivals? I shivered in a long-sleeved cotton blouse and pants. I glanced, seizing up the competition. Why on earth did I ever agree to come all the way from Lagos to PH for an interview? The room was filled with potential competition, willing for the same position of the executive partner. They all looked beautiful smart and we are impeccably dressed in smart business attires and carrying leather attaches that stole their macbooks ipads and iphones it looked as if i were stepping out of the pages of magazines fortunately for her she knew that that's what she wanted and she wasn't going to be intimidated by potentials they were called one by one and she was left alone at the awaiting chamber so, suddenly, the doors opened and a man with stern voice spoke and called her by her name. He said, Miss Blue. The voice resounded in her head. She stood up quickly and gathered her stuff. She maintained her composure despite her racing heart as she quietly entered through the doors of the boardroom. She waited patiently as she studied the interviewer. He had pink lips, maintained brush cuts, strong jaw, a strong body to die for. He looked like a supermodel from the catalogs. Damn, was he even real? Is it possible for a gentleman to look this perfect? Was this a prank? While she was still daydreaming, the gentleman urged for the secretary to bring to give them space since she won't be needed. Miss Innocencia said, she mumbled as she approached the door. Since when am I not needed during the interview sessions? Before she could exit the door, Miss Blue asked for a glass of water. While Miss Innocencia was still frozen, Mr. Black now said, Miss Innocencia, what are you waiting for? Asked Mr. Black in a sarcastic voice. Please bring water for Miss Blue. The secretary went out, dragging her shoes. Good day, Miss Blue. I'm Mr. Black, Emmanuel, and I own this company. Miss Blue, that Miss Blue now said, "Good for you." She thought she was saying that, um, in her mind, but instead said it loud. Mr. Black now said, "Excuse me, what did you say?" 
Miss Blue now said, oh, sorry, no, I said good to meet you. So Miss Blue shook his head as she glared at Mr. Black. But it wasn't rage that took her breath away. The man was a striking handsome with his shaved beard and strong jaw. How old was he? Maybe early 30s, as she was busy on her hair trying to figure out the man. Mr. Black also regarded her quietly with his cute eyes. Suddenly, Miss Blue was aware of the situation. She mumbled something. I think I made a mistake by coming here. She awkwardly stood up. Wait, I said wait, shouted Mr. Black in a commanding voice. Miss Blue turned around and answered back. Don't ever, ever in your life talk to me like that. Am I clear? Mr. Black now said, sorry, I didn't mean to shout. I'm very sorry, Miss Blue. Just wanted to say, may we please go for lunch and discuss your contract because you are hired. Congratulations. Miss Blue was surprised and said, are you kidding me without an interview? Why, if I may ask? <laughs> Or more these two eh? I enjoyed the story I enjoyed the story and I believe you enjoyed it too remember remember that Mr. Black here is the Emmanuel Miss Blue is the little rose you understand that I believe you understand this this story yes Miss Blue being the little rose uh, went for an interview but before then she was like ah that she has been dancing all through her life she she has a good business that is paying her and it's moving well so moving out from that to go into another thing how it's how will that gonna be will it be okay this this were her thoughts before she left the house on that day she went for interview you understand likewise emmanuel being the mr black he was like that he has been working for long for years and he's doing well that he needed to enjoy it now he needed a partner in that business that was the reason why he organized that interview that many people came including the miss blue that is the liquor rose i don't know whether you get the story so now liquor rose now went to the office in, uh, in, in fact she was even the last person to go in so while she now got there she requested for water the, the miss innocentia we call we mentioned there she was the secretary to emmanuel so along the line the in the, the the questions the interview hasn't even started so emmanuel is meant to start the whole thing but they were busy staring at each other deep down their hearts they were having different thoughts Emmanuel was having another thought. Liko Rose was having another thought. He, she was like, ah, this young guy, who knows how old he is? Are you sure this company is genuine? Are you, com are you sure this company is real? You understand? While Emmanuel, deep down in his own heart, he was also thinking. You get uh, this story. So it's very amazing and interesting story. So when Liko Rose now stood up, that is the Miss Blue, she stood up to leave to leave the, the 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 office. Emmanuel has to beg her to please sit down. In fact, you are hired. Congratulations, Omar. This kind of interview, eh? Ha! Without asking any question, without checking her CV, nothing, nothing. She was given that job on a platter of gold. Omar, is that not amazing? This one love don't start with that though. Yeah. So she was su surprised how. This thing just happened within a twinkle of an eye. So, my lovely people, stay tuned for the remaining part of this story because this job is going to be light. I'm almost starting this job on a good note like this without interviewing the said person that is looking for the job, without checking her CV. Oh, my love, don't start with that now. So, remember that this story was compiled by Mufako, one of the Liqua Lions. You get that? It's a love story. Mufako compiled this story and penned this down for us all to enjoy. Yes, remember that my name is Doris. Till I come your way next time and stay tuned to get the remaining parts of this story. Oh yeah now, bye bye.